Hello. Greetings and salutations. This is Emily Nomadic, Lady of the Ring. And I am here with another tea time. The time where we sit back, where you sit back and listen to me while I drink my tea. So, first thing I want to, what I really want to talk to talk about today, which as you know is right at the bottom of the, say with me, slut shaming. Yes. We are going to have a discussion about sluts while I drink tea. Thank goodness I'm not drinking at the same time. Not that I'm against women who are. I mean, I don't think it's my place to judge a woman for enjoying her sexuality. However, I've been watching the Young Turks recently, and they've been talking about women in all different parts of the country who have been shamed for being sluts, basically. I plan on playing links down below. I apologize if I don't do it right away. However, I wanted to discuss this issue because I'm not really quite sure what qualifies a woman to be a slut. Other than she sits around a lot of dudes and has no shame about it. However, why don't we say the same about men? I mean, I know that's the same argument anyone would come up with. I am aware of that. It's just, if you think about it, we don't shame men so much for sleeping around with a lot of women. Unless you're sleeping around with my wife, then everything's fine. Right, you know, it's just don't sleep around with my wife, man. <laughs> And I understand for good reason. AIDS, good Lord knows, as this guy's, you know, he's a stud, and there's a reason why he's called a stud. You know, if he doesn't have it, then you shouldn't worry about it. You know, here's my understanding is that men can have it and have symptoms. So women probably would already know that he already has, you know, quote unquote AIDS, just by the way he acts. On top of it, there are women, but then women can have it, and they have no shit. There's no way to tell them. There's no way to tell, and it's kind of sad that that happens. But at the same time, I don't know if that's the only reason why you should be kept from having sex. It really should be, but... Mm. However, I do not... In these instances, this is more of like how society sees women when it comes to the whole slut thing. You know, in some, in some parts of our country, it's seen as a pretty negative thing. There's been a girl who got in trouble for talking her classmates about the use of a condom. A condom, ladies and gentlemen, and I saw this on the Young Turks, they talk about that. Just using the necessary means to keep them out away having children, but not getting the AIDS virus. You know, common sense. Where is that? Another. Apparently there was a girl who wore a slightly low-cutting blouse. You'll see it in the video, it should be the first link that I put down there. However, I, when you watch it, you'll see that she was, her low cut top, it wasn't really much of a low cut top. And I'm looking at that and I'm going, what the F folks? I mean, She's what she's wearing is by technicality very conservative. Now, yeah, you see her belly, and I guess now it's just passe to show off the midriff, which I don't see as being a passe thing. I think if you want to show off your midriff, show it off. To me, the stomach is not a sexy. It's not sexy, folks. Okay, 
This is my tummy, okay? I am built like a barrel, basically. I'm sorry to say that, but I am. I am built like one. And hell, if it is, I enjoy dancing, and hell, I could probably beat the shoes off of Winona Ryder. I don't care. I could beat her in her sleep. Even if I'm not the world's best dancer, I know I'm better than she is. Which is kind of sad. I'd say. Anyways. Anyways. I never really agreed with making someone ashamed for their lifestyle, even if it's different from mine. I frankly accept all lifestyles, be it slut, whether you're a slut, whether you're tramp, uh, Something like that. I mean, I may not like that particular group of people. Like, imagine back 20 years ago, we all did not like the whole Valley Girl City. Like, totally, and eh, whatever. I mean, mind you, I didn't care for the whole slacker thing either, because I'm sorry, but if you sound like, dude, like, I went out and had. I had two doobies last night, and, like, we totally banged this chick. I'm thinking, like, try to find a different word to, like, use when you're talking, like, um, and, mmm, or so that, you know, instead of using it as a pause thing, find something else. But... At the same time, you can't help it. It's just how people talk. It's annoying, and it is annoying. Not just to kids, but... You know, not just to adults. It's annoying to other children. Because, let's put it this way. If I can do it, so can you. I apologize for the lighting being so bright on one side of my face. I think it just makes me look... Sorry, I'm going to try. So I turn into a computer screen. It's, it's like death to the eye, in my opinion. Anyways, it's just. Let's put it this way. I can see if we were shaming her if she was encouraging girls to not only have sex left and right, but because she is encouraging teen pregnancy. And my attitude is like, I mean, I guess we weren't really all that fair to hippies either. I mean, come on, peace and love, is that so wrong? But then again, it depends if that peace and love have to come with taking a whole lot of drugs and being all, wow, this is cool, man. Yeah, yeah, you, you gotta admit to that much. However, and then there was another about a girl. Sorry to do this to you, but I gotta. I only see one more that's talking about how maybe a year ago they were bringing up slut shaming. I. Let's just put it this way. I don't really quite understand that at, at all. I don't think you should be ashamed to be a slut. If you are, you are. You know, it can't be that way. I wonder how it was for men during the 80s and 90s is to be called a slacker. Because, I'll be honest, if this was the 80s and 90s and we were going the whole 40s and 50s route, low teeth, we were not going to stand for slackers. Men could not be slackers. Yes, which, you know, that's a good thing to teach boys because sometimes I think boys don't want to work, period. They want to sit around, be lazy, you know, have women and pick up after them, take care of them, and that's not actually a very good relationship, by the way. However, it really isn't my place to judge. That's women's, that's a woman's job to be saying, hey, pick up those clothes right now. I said right now. Do I, did I stutter? That is your place, ladies, and put your man in your place his place, just like it would be for a girl.
is like it would be for a man to put his woman in her place. I don't always agree with that concept, but I get it. You know, I find it amazing when someone complains about everything being good and doing well, but, you know. But, however, that, that's just my opinion. Anyways, please share your ideas down below. I, I sometimes feel like I don't connect enough with my audience. I just sit here and ramble, and I think it's about time I heard stuff from you. So, if you would mind, would mind, please put something down in the comments below. I only grow from your, from you saying an example. So, since I'm a woman, you're men or women, whatever comes first, please put me in my place by putting some comments down below. So, so that I can grow from you. And also, continue that growth by, okay. Yeah, this is going to take a while to learn. Sorry. Hey, please click subscribe and click any of the links and follow me anywhere on Tumblr and Twitter. Right. Uh, look at my fan fiction, which I should be coming out with something new soon. I know it's taking a long time and it's just, it's my thing. I'm sorry. And I should be back with another video pretty soon. And it's going to be talking about me being a environment an environmentalist. Yeah, I gotta look that up. Anyways, bye! This is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Room. And have a good night if afternoon. And I shall see you. Hip to soon!